might have seen me in some of Ivy Sparkle Claw's videos, but I'm here to say it's Fan Friday! As a reminder, if you guys ever want to make your own intro for Fan Friday, just make a little intro, uh, tell us who you are, and say it's Fan Friday! You can do it as a video response to this video, or send it to us, or post it on our Facebook wall, and maybe we'll use it. As you can see, the dogs are enjoying some antlers. Um, if you go to gonetothesnowdogs.com, you guys can now purchase these antlers from our website. On to some Fan Friday questions! First question is from Haley. She wants to know how much did it cost to make the we the jumps and the weaving poles for Shelby? Um, the weave poles that you guys saw in the video that I posted were actually, I bought them from a friend of mine, um, so I don't actually know how much they would cost to make. The uh, jumps probably cost around $12 total. It wasn't that much. The two 10-foot poles were only $3.67 a piece plus tax, so I would say probably between $10 and $15 to make the jump that we made. If you guys didn't see that video, I'll put a link over here and you can go watch it and see how to make your own agility jumps. Save Heidi wants to know, I've been thinking about competing with my husky mix in agility, but huskies tend to wander off on their own. How can I make sure he doesn't wander off without a leash? Um, we have only ever done indoor agility with Shelby. We probably will only ever do indoor agility with Shelby, so we don't have to worry about her wandering. Um, with a lot of work, they, they will come when you call them, sometimes, when they're inside. When they're outside, probably not. But Shelby does pretty good. I usually just have to yell her name really loud and say here very sternly and she'll come to me. But it does take a lot of work and I don't think I would ever try doing agility outside in an open ring with, with my huskies anyway. Quite a few of you have asked, where did we get the cartoon drawings of Shiloh, Shelby, and Oakley? Um, Jamie drew those for us. If you didn't see them, they're on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash gone to the snow dogs. It's also the new design on our t-shirts, which is gone to the snow dogs .com. There's links to all these things down in the description so you guys don't have to figure out how to type them. Um, but Jamie actually did those drawings for us. And if you really are interested in having one of your dog done, um, he does do design work and he, he will draw your dogs like that for a small fee. You can uh, post on my Facebook wall and I can give you his email. And you can check him out. Maybe you can have one done of your dog, right? What do you think of that? Are you done with your antler already? Jeez of Pete's. Emma says, I and many of my friends foster huskies for husky rescue. Would you and Jamie ever consider fostering dogs? We have considered it a couple times. There have actually been a couple of huskies that have come, in, uh, come available in our area for foster that um, either needed to be fostered for temporary or fostered until they found a new home. Um, we almost, before we got Oakley, we almost took in a red and white foster that would have been a temporary foster until a better home and or new home for the owner could have been found. But they ended up finding a different foster and we kept looking and then we found Oakley who actually need, needed a permanent home. But, you know, I, we would definitely foster if, if the need came up. Um, there's not usually too many huskies up in our area that need fostering. But someday, someday we'd love to do it. Deetra says, my husky Danzig always sits in front of me and barks until I pay attention to let him or her outside. Do your dogs do that too? Yes. Uh, Oakley and Shelby are both very loud when they want to play or go outside or go somewhere or do something. Both of them are very loud. They bark, they whine, they cry, they jump up on your chair. They're pretty good at getting attention. Shiloh is a little bit quieter, um, but if she really wants something really bad, she will bark and let you know. Oh. Kelvy wants to know, do you trust any of your dogs off leash? No. No, I don't. Not a good idea to trust a husky off leash ever. And there may be people out there that tell you, oh, huskies can be off leash, it's no problem. You know, maybe their huskies can and maybe they want to trust them, but I, I love my dogs way too much to take that chance. So no off-leash for these girls. What I do is I actually have a 50-foot training lead that I can take with them when we go places so that they can actually get a little bit further away from us to go swimming or things like that. But as for being off-leash, Shiloh's been off-leash a few times, but not anymore. She's not the best listener either. Kelvy also wants to know, do they come every time you call them? No, 
Not even half the time, not even a quarter of the time. Even when they're out in the fenced-in backyard, they don't always come when we call them. Even at agility, when I say, shall we hear? Oh, now, you, now you're listening, huh? Right? Shall we hear? See? You know that, don't you? You say, but we're not there, so I don't really have to go anywhere. Um, but no, they, they don't normally come when called, unless, unless something really exciting is going on where we are. Right? Right. We also got a letter with some cute artwork from our friend Nicole. She drew this really cool picture with Oakley's name on it. We should frame it and put it on your kennel, huh Oakley? And then... She also drew this one for Charlotte Shelby! Look, it's this Shelby! Oh. <laughs> Can you tell Nicole thank you? You want to see Shy? I knew you were going to get up. See that? Pretty neat, huh? <laughs> thank you for sending that. that a couple of you have asked how Oakley's doing. Um, she's doing okay. I have to go back to the vet again on Friday. So probably, which is tomorrow is Friday, I'll probably give you guys a full update on Monday once I get a little bit more news about her eyes. She does have all of her stitches out, right? All of your stitches are out. Um, but she does have a scratch on her eye that we're trying to get healed. So maybe Monday I'll do a video and explain all of that stuff that happened to you. What do you think, huh? That's all for Fan Friday today. Thanks for watching, you guys. We appreciate it. I guess we're going to have lazy evening for the rest of this evening. You guys barely even ate your antlers. <laughs> you just don't want to spoil your dinner, huh? All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you guys would like to send us anything in the mail, our P.O. Box address is Gone to the Snow Dogs, P.O. Box 12, Alpena, Michigan, 49707. And if you have questions for Fan Friday, you can leave them on our Facebook page or on our Twitter page, which are listed on the screen. Thanks for watching, you guys. Animal,